best benefits of using kettlebells is it works your core no matter what exercise you do because oftentimes they're unilateral exercises so the other half of your body has to make up for the stress on the other side okay that's one of my favorite things about using kettlebells is everything you do you can also target your core hey guys welcome back for another workout video today i'm going to run you through my favorite kettlebell complex uh, this one can be used as a warm-up, a workout, or a finisher. Uh, I like to normally use it as my, my initial workout or a finisher after a uh, full body or leg day. Uh, so let's get right to it. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So <clears throat> we're going we're gonna to break it up into a few movements. Okay, so the first movement we're going to have is going to be a row. And then from that row, we're going to transition right into a clean. Okay, and then from there, you're going to do a step back lunge, press, and then come up with it. Okay, and then we're going to switch sides. So basically what we're going to do is you're going to go row, clean, step back lunge, press, and up. Then we're going to switch sides. And you're going to go row, clean, step back lunge, press, and up. Okay? This one's solid because it works the full body. You get the back or pull movement. Okay? You get the upper body and your trap and arms with the clean. You get a little bit of legs thrown in there. And then when you press overhead, your core has to balance for the offset, so you get a lot of core work. So this complex is a complete total, total body workout, and it's phenomenal, like I said. You can use it for your complete workout. You can warm up with it. You can finish with it. I mean, possibilities are endless. Right now I'm using a 22 kg kettlebell, so it's about 48 pounds. Okay, and I'm going to run you guys through the workout. We're going to do a little bit of a workout here using this complex. And then, you know, take, take it for yourselves. Try it out. Switch up the different weights. Try with a light weight, a medium weight, a heavy weight. Um, you know, with the heavier weights, you can do less reps. The lighter weights, you can do more reps. It's completely up to you. Uh, so, yeah, let's get right into it. We're going to do three rounds, five reps on each side. Yeah, I'm not going to be too strict about the rest here, just rest as needed, but just try and complete the five sets on each side before you rest. But of course, if you need to take a rest in between, totally up to you, that is completely fine. So remember to grab your water, stretch before you work out, and let's get right to it. So like I said, we're going to go row, clean, step back lunge, press, up. Okay, that's one. Now switch sides, we're going to do five on the left side. It's one. That's the first set right there. Take a quick breather. Control your breathing. Catch your breath. It's completely 
completely normal for your heart to be spiked after that, especially if you did them unbroken, like I did right there. And again, like I said, this one's perfect for total body strength, core stability. You know, you get to work a little bit of everything. You get to work your back, quads, core, traps, shoulders, posterior chain. When you hinge the pull, everything is working. Everything's fired. We're going to go in for set number two. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it. Now we're going to switch sides, we're going to do left side. And remember, you don't need to do it as fast as I'm doing it. You can do it slower, you can do it faster. Just a couple key things to note. When you, when you hold in rack position, remember you're turning the bell around your wrist, okay? And you're putting that elbow right into your ribcage, okay? So it's going to look after your row, nice and tight on the clean, okay? That's one. Take your rest as needed, catch your breath. The next set will be the last set. But like I said, feel free to add in more sets, more reps. Right now I'm currently demonstrating this to you guys as a finisher exercise, but you know, it can be a whole workout. And personally, I got a, I got a sweat going, my heart rate's up, so. It's a good one. It's a good one, especially if you're short on time, um, if you're limited in space, and if you only have one kettlebell. All right. Last set, third set, in five, four, three, two, one. Let's work. Remember, elbow into the rib cage. Keep it nice and tight. You're gonna step back, press, engage that core, and on your way up, your core is engaged again. Lower the bell, reset. It's getting spicy. Next set, left side, 
and finish the workout. Let's go. Same thing applies, left side, nice and tight. Step back, overhead press on the lockout, engage your core, step up, keep that core engaged, reset. complex. So we had the row, the clean, to step back lunge, overhead press, to standing up. Okay? All throughout this complex, your muscles will be worked, okay? they'll be stabilizing you, and you will be strengthening them. Okay? The workout doesn't have to be overly complicated. Like I said, one kettlebell, medium sized weight, a little bit of space, and you're good to go. All right, and there's a couple keynotes before we end here. Like I was saying, when you, when you clean the bell, that's a foundational kettlebell movement, okay? But you basically wanna keep that elbow into your rib cage, okay? Engaging your lats, engaging your core, keeping a neutral position, but a strong stance, and your, your feet slightly under shoulder width apart, or shoulder width apart is great too, okay? Another key tip, when you press from the lunge position, and you lock out, okay? You almost wanna have your bicep come to your ear, so you know your arm's locked out, so you're not doing a half lockout, where you injure your elbow, you want to keep that arm fully extended and over your head. Okay, and when you get down there, take a moment, feel your core, engage, so when you step up, you're totally balanced, and your core is still firing. That's one of the best benefits of using kettlebells, is it works your core, no matter what exercise you do, because oftentimes they're unilateral exercises, so the other half of your body has to make up for the stress on the other side. Okay, that's one of my favorite things about using kettlebells, is everything you do, you can also target your core. All right, so give this complex a try. Check out my other YouTube videos. I have a couple tutorials on my channel for kettlebell clean, snatch, swing, I have a full video library on my channel. Okay, hit me up on Instagram, at Newton House Fitness, same as my YouTube channel. All right, until the next workout, take care.